Yeah, 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 Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy, LC the One, baby. LC the One to be exact, that is. A.K.A. Illmatic124. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm-up jerseys on the back of my... Motherfucking chair. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang gang, my LC crew. What's going on out there in the land? Well, you live, you did, but hey, man. As y'all can see, I just got in the crib, man. Just got in the crib. For real, for real. I just got in the crib from work, man. The off day. You dig what I'm talking about, man? And she told me I'm on standby for tomorrow. And I'm not turning down nothing, baby. We on the road to a million dollars, a million views, a million... Subscribers on YouTube. You dig what I'm talking about? Instagram, Snapchat. I take it all. Because, baby, that's what it's about. Man, we on the road to success in 2K19. Can you dig that? With a football jack, tough acting to nothing, baby. Shout out to the Chicago Bears. Because they're the only motherfuckers doing something. Oh, Jesus. Mother oil pipe. But anyway, man. Like I said, I just got in the crib. And I'm beating that holiday crowd. So I got all my shit early. Like I've been telling the shorties, man. For years, man, down there, any one of them that listen, a few of them motherfuckers, well, a few of them shorties, I ain't gonna say motherfuckers, a few of the shorties did listen to me. I'm saying they're short because they're younger than me. And, you know, they pay attention and, you know, they follow the trend, baby, because I'm a trendsetter. And I'm just trying to, man, just, just, just move, move through everything smoothly and peacefully. You did. While we on this incline and while we trying to take it everywhere, they ain't never there. You dig what I'm talking about? But anyway, man, I just got in the crib. 7 o'clock Tuesday night, you dig what I'm talking about. Prime time, baby. But listen, y'all know I be checking the headlines, man, when I'm on the caboose. That's the train, man. I be checking YouTube. I be checking Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Motherfuckers be thinking I be bush and they be looking at me on try. I be in my motherfucking phone. I be, I be researching, man, for things that I could react to or shows that I could do with the LC1 TV show. See who playing the video games, what they playing, doing statistics. You dig what I'm talking about, man? Because this is a real job. You dig what I'm talking about, man? For real, for real. If you want to be successful in this entertainment business, you got to do a lot of mother OF homework. Can y'all dig that? For real, for real, man. And you got to stay ahead of the curve because you got to come out with your own ingenuity, too, on top of that. But anyway, man, doing my normal you know, checking out the headlines, going to each app, checking out everything when I'm on the train. Always paying attention because I'm in security, you dig? And I seen Stephen A. Smith, not, not Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, okay? Skip ba Skip Bayless, okay? And uh, Broussard, you dig what I'm talking about? I seen them, man, and they was talking about they top 10 basketball players of all time. Okay, so I'm listening in, and I'm listening to their lists, man, and a few of them was kind of accurate, okay, a few of them had Mike as number one, without a doubt, they had Magic up there, Kareem, Shaq, they had Kobe, like all the way down, they had LeBron, I got the actual video right here. We're going to listen to the shit all the way down. And I'm like, huh? No. So I'm going to listen to their list again. I'm going to let y'all listen in too. And y'all can get y'all two cents on what y'all think. Because my top 10 is totally different. I got a, t a whole different. I'm not talking about just statistic wise. Okay. My top 10 is, is, is based off excitement, man. Somebody that came in and curved the game. Okay. That curve that changed everything. Okay? So I'm gonna give you my top ten before we listen to this. Okay. We talking about errors and everything. That just changed the game and came with their own style, if so, or mimic another person's style to enhance the game and make it better. We talking about Dr. J. He changed everything first. They didn't even mention Dr. J at all. They going off statistics, I guess. I don't know. But they didn't even mention Dr. J. Now one of them mentioned Dr. J. Michael Jordan, number two. I'm talking about they changed the errors, man. I'm talking about they was better than everybody 
in they in they group, and they style was better than everybody's. Dr. J, Jordan came behind him, mimicked him, even though he had all the other players. I don't know but too much about Connie Hawkins and them. You dig? And then number three, Kobe Bryant, man. How you gonna be, how you gonna forget Kobe Bryant? He, I'm just going in order. Dr. J, Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant. Then after that, you got you can filter in players. I got Sean Kemp, Charles Barkley. I'm talking about people that had their own styles with they, you know, at their positions. Charles Barkley was one of the best power forwards. He the one that tra- he the one that pretty much that 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 curved everything for power forwards and was the first stretch big because he could do it inside, outside, shoot threes, all that. Charles Barkley was raw as hell. Okay, I can then you know, had the ones that mimicked him, Larry Johnson, and stuff like that. He he curved all that, and then okay, I'm just, I'm just going to order too, man. Not, not order, but I'm just saying, Michael, uh, Dr. J, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, uh, uh, Charles Barkley, LeBron James, Stephen Curry. I'm talking about people that really curved the game with their own style. And y'all know what I'm saying. If you a real basketball player and made the game even more exciting. Akeem Olajuwon. All right. Shaquille O'Neal. All right. Kobe Bryant. I get. I, I said Kobe Bryant. Uh, who else I'm going to throw up on that list? And I'm talking about even players right now. Dwayne Wade. Came in with their own type of style, man. And curved the game. Change the game. Not mimicking nobody else. They 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 style was just too damn unique. You feel me? They stood out and the NBA had the patent that shit. Derrick Rose. Okay? Y'all getting where I'm coming from? That's what I that's what I look at for my top ten. People that came in, they was very exciting. They changed the game and they had the whole world looking at it from a whole different perspective. Because they came in with a whole different style. A basketball, man. You dig what I'm saying? So let me see if I can find a couple more players and we're going to listen to this reaction. Let's skip. This may be a 20-minute vid. But y'all know how we... This is Vlogmas, baby. We're going to keep it rolling. You think what I'm talking about? But, uh, yeah. Uh, who else I could throw in that, that, that mix right there? They came in this this changed the game with their ingenuity. Yao Ming. I'm talking about, man, that he's seven foot seven. The boy could pass the ball, had footwork, could shoot. You know what I'm talking about? Tracy McGrady. Vince Carter. That's what I'm talking about. When I look at play, Jason Kidd, man, you know what I'm talking about? For real, for real, man. Magic Johnson, okay? So y'all get the picture. So let's listen in and what I was talking about, man. So this is the uh, Undisputed right here. So let's listen in to what they talking about. Our annual sale will get After these the commercial breaks, because we got to pay some bills around here. You think what I'm talking about? Oh, Jesus. Okay, once again, my Chris Broussard. Okay. Chris, where does Kobe rank all time? Well, I, I don't listen to this. Don't listen, 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 y'all. Laker. I got Magic as the greatest Laker. I have Kobe second. Although I think Kareem, where I rank third, is the best player ever to play for the Lakers. But you know, he's talking about the Lakers. He's talking about we talking about overall. Above Kareem and Shaq. as a Laker, as a Laker. Well, Shaq well, was only player. Shaq was only there eight years. Mm-hmm. Kareem, half of his tenure with the or a lot of his tenure with the Lakers, he was older and past his prime even though they were still winning championships. So here's my rank all time with Kobe. Listen to so this. So I'll just, should I just read the guys? Yeah, I just read the guys. You ain't got to give no numerical order because I ain't doing numerical order. I'm just, you have to do I'm numerical doing, order. Okay. Okay. What I'm are you a, talking about? I'll give the number at the end. Number one, Michael Jordan. Oh, shot. I know you're going to. Michael you, Jordan, you, baby. You're going to have a heart Ain't no bite, man. Look, come on. He was exciting. Michael Jordan, LeBron, baby. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron, he was exciting. Yeah. LeBron, That's what I'm talking about. Number two, no question. Lord have mercy. Number three, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Number four, Magic Johnson. Number five, Wilt Chamberlain. Number six, and this was tough, Shaq. And seven, Shaq was Kobe. dope. And I, Kobe? The, the way I differentiated between Shaq and Kobe was if I had to start a team, I would take Shaq instead of Kobe. But it was, you could flip those. But I got Kobe seven. You have to rank. <laughs> Are you in trouble? Is he in your top 20? <laughs> That's why you don't have a... 
So y'all heard what Basar said, right? Chris Basar. You see, he ranking his. They, I guess they ranking it based off of statistics. You see what I'm saying? Me, I'm ranking mine based off excitement. Even you could throw Larry Bird in there, but we 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 had that because we had that with uh yeah well yeah I would throw Larry Bird in there because he was very exciting and he had people watching because he was a six nine small forward like LeBron James. You dig what I'm talking about? And he could shoot the hell out the damn ball. Let's get back here. Let's listen to Shannon now. Shannon, uh, Sharp, you know he played with the Green Bay Packers, baby. America Order. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't Let's listen in. I'm just going to put Kobe. I got Kareem. Number one. Kareem. Wait, wait. All oh, time? No, Kareem all Cole, time but he, I'm just right? saying, statistic-wise, oh, 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 no, yeah. Oh, Lakers. But I got, oh, okay, excitement. Yeah, yeah, I thought we was talking about. No. I thought we had top 10. I thought. Did it say, did it say, what do you No, mean? no I shade to you, like, Cap. Time. All time, all on the real. Yeah, yeah. I got Kareem. All the way. Wait a minute. Y'all got me confused about my own list. Right, right. For a second. Who's the best? Kareem Abdul Jabbar right. is number one. Okay. Michael Jordan is number two. He just can't stand. Ah, yeah, uh, that stand. That shocked me. LeBron <laughs> is number three. Okay. <laughs> Will I ain't gonna put no effects in this four. one, man. Y'all gotta look, listen to this all the way. Magic Johnson, number five. I got Bill Russell, number six. Larry Bird, number seven. Tim Duncan, number eight. Mm. I got old Kobe falling in. Tim you Duncan was cool. No shade, Tim. Timmy. But I'm talking about really okay. excitement. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Nine. Excitement. Uh, big excitement. Big o. <laughs> so you got the big O above Kobe. So Kobe is 10th on your list. He is 7th on your list. So Shaq is not your top 10? Any threat to LeBron, it just gets... And that's no threat! Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Like... See, his list was the same, almost, but it's like they got players that's, you know... I don't know, man. It's like power fours that, that, that's stationary. You know, that really can't do nothing unless somebody get on the ball, like Kareem and Tim Duncan. You did Shaq, the only one that's more Shaq catching oops. I mean, they can too, but Shaq dribbling the ball, you know, he crossing you over, he can shoot, the only thing is a free throw, but Shaq was exciting as hell, and he had tear the motherfucking rim down. Oh, gee, let's get back into it now. It's skip turn. This is undisputed right here. That's on ESPN, baby. No threat. He ain't no threat. He done. He can't build no more bricks. I will give you that. I'll give you that. A lot of players that are on this do take Kobe over LeBron. I'll give you that. Yeah. So now for an objective list. <laughs> listen, listen to Skip. I, like you, have Kobe 7th. You've got him 10th, but I have him 7th. And we start clearly, obviously, at the top. Do I even, even need to say <laughs> Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's obviously Michael Jeffrey Jordan. There is no debate about that. You're just being petty and peevish. <laughs> they going off statistics. I don't know. Because they didn't even mention Dr. J. Nobody did. Man's number 23, That's crazy. LeBron James. Okay, so I have three Lakers ranked above Kobe. Allen Iverson. You know what I'm talking about? All-time greats. I'm going Magic, Shaq, and Kareem at two, three, and four. Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, all-time. Yes, from the all-time. I, I just I was there for all those finals, all those Western Conference finals with Shaquille O'Neal. He was the most dominating offensive force, and I'll throw in defensive force together I'd ever witnessed. He just dominated. Nobody could deal with Shaquille O'Neal. He did not take care of himself. He didn't last as long as he yeah, should have. I'm right. just saying, I'm taking him in a vacuum. He got a heat. In and of himself <laughs> at that point, I'd never seen anything like it before. So he is third behind Magic and Kareem, we, to, to your point. So you got Magic two, two, Shaq three, Kareem four. Then the great Tim Duncan is five with his oh, five. Oh, you got, you got, hold on. You got Magic, Shaq, and Kareem ahead of LeBron. Man, I got to go to nobody skip and twitch over me. <laughs> no, no. Skip, you want to be a shit and listen to you this. It's my turn. You probably it's don't even have LeBron in your top ten. So y'all heard that? Y'all heard Skip? Skip, he had Matt, he had Mike number one, too. Because he's seeing it based off what I'm seeing, excitement. Then he had Shaq. That's excitement. You see what I'm saying? That, that position, something. That's rare. We seen it. I mean, Will Chamberlain. But I'm talking about for real, for real. This boy had, he was dribbling, crossing motherfuckers over. Shaquille O'Neal on the fast break. Let's, let's finish the video. 
Then number six, I have the great Bill Russell, who, to your point about, you, you both have Will. Bill Russell, I, no shade, but I'm talking about really excitement, man. No, no, Come on now. Will would put 40 and 30 on me. Seven and one in, 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 in the playoffs. Seven and one? Seriously, but Will was, twice in the finals? Will would, he, statistically, he, Will would just not 29 and 29, Will would hey, average. Average against Russell, yeah. He psychologically owned and always beat Wilt Chamberlain head to head. I'm sorry, I'm taking the guy with 11 did, rings. Did Havlicek, did Havlicek, they Casey had Jones, Jones they, that Sam was Jones. the guy. Jack, Sam the Jones. leader, the driving force was Bill Russell. Okay. I know he was only 6'9", but I'm taking him from his era. Man, he's, he ranks high. He's sixth on my list. I told you I got Kobe seven because he was five and two in finals. I got Larry Bird eight because I'll take Larry Bird. I told you last week. Did I tell you? I'll take him any day or any night over LeBron James with the game on the line. I'll take what happened when the game's not on. I don't know about that. Because LeBron is very night. exciting. Did you see what he averaged rebounds? But Larry he's can shoot. Rebound. He's a better rebounder than LeBron James. He, he has the passer. And Larry can, he can LeBron dribble too. Fast. Larry can cross he you over too. His generations, LeBron, as a passer. He was a great passer. You want to start with yeah. shooting stats? Do I even have to start? Do I have to start with he won the first three three point shootouts in, at the NBA All Star weekend? His first finals. And and I'm Bird was scoring red Maxwell. But his MVP. first finals, in two of the finals games, Larry Bird scored eight points. And a role oh, playing oh, cold oh, cornbread. Oh, oh, he was a rookie. I'm just saying, he was a rookie. when he was like 24 years old, he Did was a, he was a second year player. He wasn't a rookie. He was in his second year, and he was old. No, Magic won it when they were both rookies. Magic and Korea. Korea. Yeah, and if I'm just saying, for consistency's sake, if LeBron James scored eight points in two finals games, time, one boy, series, you that. and a role playing teammate, Cornbread was a very good player, but a role playing teammate. Was MVP? You would Wait take that title from how, LeBron. How old you wouldn't was even LeBron give it to him when they played Dallas in the finals. How old? Probably was he? close to the same age. He yeah. was. What was he? Uh, that was in two thousand ten. So that was his that seventh year, year, first, first year in Miami, right? Yeah, he was like twenty six. Yeah. So they got their lists all out, man. You know, basically, and you know, we finna end the video, man, because I still think. It's all about excitement, man. Period. That's it. It's all about excitement, man. And, you know, if you want to base the list off statistics, that's cool. But make sure you got your facts right, man. Because we talking about, you got Carl Malone. You okay? You know what I'm saying? We talking about, if you want to base it off of that, and that's looking at the individual stats. Okay? But we talking about excitement. People that brought the NBA revenue and changed the game. Completely. Michael Jordan. Dr. J, Dr. J curved everything. It wouldn't the NBA wouldn't be in this, as exciting right now if it wasn't for Dr. J, man. Look at that doctor documentary. It changed my whole perspective because I didn't even know that Dr. J went through all that bush. Understand me? Because he would have man, if he was in the NBA before he started in the CBA, man, it, man, no telling what the the game prime would be even more immaculate. Michael Jordan. In my, that was one of his idols. So he took his game to the to the NBA after Dr. J and and, and made it better because he wasn't gonna let this the what all that hard work that Dr. J did in the CBA die and go in vain. You know, because he changed it all, man. He changed everything for us, man. Basketball players the, in the NBA that had their own swagger. That's what I'm saying. People that came and changed it, man, and made it better based off their, their, excitement, their excitement, you know, and it, it, it just drew crowds. Michael Jordan, Dr. J, Larry Bird, Dominique Wilkins. I can go on and on. I'm talking about exciting players, you know, but no shade to all these other players, man. I'm just saying, you know, Kobe Bryant, all of them. Allen Iverson, you did what I'm talking about. People that made the game, I'm finna, I'm finna get off this video because they got the air on. And it's fucking up on the video, get it. And we finna get up out of here, man. Hey, this your boy, LC the one, baby. LC the one, to be exact, that is. AKA Illmatic one, two, four. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm up jerseys on the back of my motherfucking chair. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping. And avoid slipping. Because they will get your motherfucking ass if you slip on that motherfucking banana peel. You get what I'm talking about, man. And like I always say, church of God, we're going to formally shout out to my LC Nation, my LC gang gang, my LC crew. I need y'all to like this video. Share this video. 
comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man, and turn the notification bell button on, ding, to get more exclusive dope content from a pair play against Hustle Boy. All about mine, baby. And like I always say, man, church and Reverend God, we going in the five, a four, a three, a two, a one, church in them. This pimping, it's a luxurious business. A lot of people ain't aware of that. But I'm here to let you know, man. Pimping game is strong, baby. And it's gonna be here forever. Keep your mind on them pimping. Pimping. I'm a P-I-M-P pimp. I'm a pimp. 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 I'm a P-I-M-P pimp. I was born to pimp. Pimp. I'm so pimpin' this shit.